power quality, it affects everyone. Not only on the supplier side, which is a utility, but also on the consumer side, which is residential, industrial, commercial loads. But then there's also the manufacturer side, which are producing uh, devices that may contribute to poor power quality. So everyone has a role to play when it comes to power quality. So there are uncertain events that, you know, causes poor power quality and we would never know about it. And so these uncertain events are random events like faults, resonance, lightning surges, and oftentimes electric utilities associated with these uh, types of conditions. So on the utility side, they are responsible for poor power quality on three ends, on the generation, transmission, and distribution ends. Poor power quality on the generation side often arises when there are changes in the generation or uh, generation side, right? There's loads or generation power supply coming in and out or, or in maintenance and that sort of thing. Now on the transmission end, so this is like, you know, when you have wind farms that suddenly cut out, there's uh, voltage uh, regulations, lightning, improper functioning of voltage regulator devices like, you know, uh, static VAR compensators and and uh, synchronous generators and that sort of thing. When these things are on the transmission system are improperly functioning, then you'll have poor quality. Now on the distribution end where most of the power quality that most people are affected by occurs there. Now on the distribution end, we're talking about voltage dips, interruptions, transient spikes, voltageization, and there and these are some of the reasons why we have power quality on the distribution uh, system. Other reasons are uh, improper studying and placement of capacitor banks on the distribution line. That could cause resonance and that could cause a hike in harmonics and which leads to poor power quality. So consumers contribute to a big chunk of power quality issues. Now, nonlinear loads used by consumer produce harmonics in the power system, thus leading to poor power quality examples like switch mode power supplies that are powering up you know our pcs are an example of non-linear load they actually contribute to poor power quality from the consumer end so from a manufacturer and the manufacturer uh, isn't built to the standards and is doesn't um, maintain the standards of specifications that's really needed for high quality uh, product. If it's not a high quality product, it's gonna they're gonna cut losses and they're gonna keep their prices to a minimal and they're not going to follow any sort of you know testing and standard specifications and meeting any sort. So they're they're just gonna produce poor poor products that's gonna eventually cause poor power quality. So manufacturers have to make sure that uh, their equipment is um, sustains these types of disturbances that might occur on the electrical power systems. Hello everyone, Abdurrahman here from Alumiax Engineering. To learn more and to continue sharpening your technical skills, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, General Pack by Alumiax, or visit our website at alumiax.com learn.